Hi, I'm Derek. I'm Everett. I'm Audrey. I'm Ava. I'm Lindsay. And I'm Owen. And we're, we're Lanes, Lanes Less, Less Traveled. Traveled. We hit the road in December of 2018, and we've been to 18 national parks all over the country, and we've utilized this time to bring learning alive for our kids. And today's RV pro tip is incorporating road schooling into your RV road trips. All right, guys, let's go read. Yay! <laughs> So we've been on the road, road schooling for two years, almost two years now. Yep. Um, and it's just sort of been an extension of how we were doing life already. We just get changing scenery, which is pretty awesome. One of the things that's super important to us is to keep our environment, like inside our rig, learning friendly. Um, one thing that's always been important to us as we've homeschooled over the years is to have lots of books available. And one of our priorities when we hit the road was that there was a weight allotment for books um, because it's so important to us. And so we have nooks and crannies that we stick books in. Yeah, you can get um, creative. You get super creative in rigs because- Space is limited. Space is limited. Our advice is to take a period of de-schooling and realize and recognize that if you're pulling your child from a traditional school setting to homeschooling on the road, learning, Huge transition. it's a big transition. And to embrace what it is and to really get creative and understand that learning is not going to just solely be coming from a textbook anymore. Learning is going to be where you're parked, who you're around, the city that you're visiting or whatever. Our top tips for incorporating our learning on the road is definitely pre-research where you're going to go. Find books on those subjects about like the plant life or the animal life, the history. The history is really cool because you can learn about the, the people who originally lived there. Just really dive in and get to know the history of the area that you're visiting. Everybody's usually up by about nine and so we all come to the couch, get breakfast, um, and we're a-okay if they're in their pajamas. Oh, yeah. um, and we do some reading together. So the subjects that we do at family style, so we're all learning together. We read those subjects together aloud. And then once we're once those are wrapped up, usually we'll let them have like a wiggle break. And usually we're done with school by about lunchtime. Oftentimes when people uh, go to a new area, they just automatically think museums, let's go to a museum and learn, but yeah. there are so many national parks, state parks, um, historical sites. Yeah, for sure. This, I mean, there, you can get history in a museum, but there's history everywhere if you go and actually really investigate the history of a site, even a location you're at. You can, you can find gobs of information that you may not find in a book by just talking to locals or going to visitor centers. The advantage to learning on the road for them has been that things just come alive. But if you can talk about something while you're looking at it, while you're taking a walk through the woods down a path and just examine the different trees and like, it's gonna keep their attention way more than just looking at a book or even looking at pictures in a book. I think when people start homeschooling, they're like, well, this is the curriculum and this week it says we have to do this. But if you can set that aside and let that go and sort of follow your child's um, Interest. interests, yeah. again, it brings learning alive. We're pretty passionate about homeschooling and keeping our kids at home um, just because we've seen the fruit of that. We have our oldest as a homeschool graduate and we've seen kind of the fruit in her life of she still loves to learn. We recognize it's not for every family just because it doesn't fit the style of every family, but if you even think that it could fit the style of your family at all, like no regrets. Yeah. This is, our, our kids don't have a desire to go to a traditional school because they're like, why would we? We get to do this for our school? Yeah. This is awesome. Make sure to check out other RV Pro Tip episodes to take your RV knowledge to the next level. We are Lanes Less Traveled. Off to our next adventure. Bye.